Aquarius Risings April 2024 shows that you are probably starting to learn something new as well as being particularly cautious with how you are spending money. So if you are excited to dive into what the astrology says about you for this upcoming April, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Erin. I make astrology videos and also music, which you can find down below, along with my astrology courses and my one-on-one -on -one readings. So we start off on the third with Venus conjunct Neptune in your Pisces second house of income and money. Venus and Neptune together is otherworldly pleasure or beautiful and satisfaction and just like above and beyond beauty. This probably shows that you are starting the month out with something amazing happening to you financially or just something that is an opportunity arriving towards you. And on the fifth, Venus enters your Aries third house. So Venus shows harmony and it will be entering your third house of day-to-day -day content, writing, or learning during most of this month, showing a lot of focus there. And on the eighth, there is a total solar eclipse happening in your Aries third house. This total solar eclipse shows a huge, very important new beginning starting for you that is taking off, it is groundbreaking, and being in your third house of day-to-day -day hobbies, learning, or content, you're probably either starting something new with content and social media, or you're deciding to pick up a hobby and learn something new that you're really dedicated to. Then from the 9th to the 11th, Mars will conjoin Saturn in your second house of money. Mars and Saturn together is objectively challenging and very, very serious. So this probably shows that you are starting to run into financial issues, blockages, or needing to be more conservative. And from the 11th to the 12th, there's a Sun Mercury Kazemi in your second house, which shows insight or clarity about these difficult financial matters. Then on the 15th onward, Jupiter will conjoin Uranus in your Taurus fourth house. So Jupiter expands and is positive, and Uranus is about innovation, disruption, and something that's like lightning new. The two together shows an amazing like burst of newness or some random opportunity that is sudden and random. For you, it's about family or home. So it looks like a random good thing happening to you about living situation second half of the month. Then on the 19th, Mercury will conjoin Venus in your third house of content or writing or learning, showing that you're probably receiving good news or writing something that is well received. And on the 19th, the sun enters your Taurus fourth house. So this shows that there is more focus about home and family for the rest of the month. But on the 21st to the 23rd, the sun will square Pluto in your first house. And this could mean that you feel as if you are trying to change, maybe even manipulate something around family or home in your life. And there is tension with the family and home dynamic and what you're trying to change about it. On the 23rd, there is then a full moon in your Scorpio 10th house of career. The 10th house being job and profession and a full moon being an ending shows that you're probably either letting go of a chapter or an entire career as something that you're no longer focused on. On the 28th to the 30th, Mars will conjoin Neptune in your Pisces second house. This shows spiritual warrior or being the bigger person kind of energy as it pertains to money. So it looks like you're taking a spiritual, altruistic, peaceful approach to whatever financial issues you're dealing with. And on the 29th, Venus enters your Taurus fourth house. This shows more ease, harmony, and love coming towards you with home or family as we enter May. Although on the 30th, it will swerve Pluto in your first house, again, showing that you might be really trying to force a change or adjustment and it's causing friction with your home and family. And finally, we end the month on the 30th with Mars entering your Aries third house. So as we enter May, there is more tension, effort, and conflict you might be dealing with either online or with what you're learning new. So if you have any thoughts about what is coming up for you this April, do make sure to leave me a comment down below with how you're feeling. The tarot card that we have here for Aquarius Risings this April is the Eight of Pentacles. This is all about humble beginnings and humble growth, like brick by brick, nail by nail, building something valuable. So it shows that you are starting to build something or create something, but you're starting kind of at the bottom and at the very like, you know, bottom, like run of the litter kind of thing. And it's gonna be, you know, I, I don't see it being challenging based on what's happening in, in, in the transits, but it is like little by little. So it could be that you're starting off very new. Hope that this was helpful and hope that you have an awesome April ahead. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you are not already. I know about 50% of you guys are. It would be great to get that closer to 100%. Otherwise, I hope that you have an awesome April and I will see you in the next one.